How do you get started on a book? That's the topic I'm addressing today with the right question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant, the publication coach. I have a question from Maria Alejandra, a writer based in Melbourne, Australia. Here's what she asked by email. I haven't written portions of my book on the topic of home management because I haven't done enough research. I've written down some ideas and have them in Evernote. Should I wait until I have collected more ideas and done more research before I start writing? And is writing my ideas on Evernote a form of research? I write every night in my diary. Does that count as a writing habit? Thanks for your questions, Maria. I can see that many thoughts and worries are spinning through your brain right now. So the first thing I want to say to you is take a deep breath. Your next step, as you seem to have guessed, is to do your research. Writing down ideas in Evernote is not the same as researching. I can't predict exactly what you need to investigate as I have only a sketchy understanding of your topic. But research should focus on collecting factual information you need to know before you can figure out exactly what you want to say about it. For example, I'm going to assume your book focuses on the things one needs to know to run a household. Does that include appliances? If it does, you might need to research Search vacuum cleaners, dishwashers, irons. Or if your book is going in a slightly different direction, you might want to research the best software for things like recipe management, planning dinner parties, organizing household expenses. And if you are not sure what direction you want to go in, that's something you need to think about. I've never been a big fan of unnecessary work, so make sure you get the idea sorted out in your own mind before you start writing. One thing you might consider is doing what I call an organizational mind map on your entire project. I did a video that included information on that last week, link below. Maria, I can see you're excited about your project, which is great, but you need to harness that excitement in a way that's going to allow you to spend the energy on it you need. You ask a number of questions about what sorts of things count as work on your book. So perhaps the most helpful thing I can say to you is this. Anything you do that will take your book forward counts. This is why all your research counts, but writing in your diary doesn't. Why? It's not a project associated with your book. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from the late great American tennis player Arthur Ashe. I know there's a stadium named after him in Melbourne, and I walked through it last year. Here's what he said. Start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. Maria, writing a book is a marathon, not a sprint. Take all the time you need to do a good job. And don't be so concerned about what counts as writing. Instead, take step after step until you have your first draft. If you'd like to learn more about how to make writing a happier, more rewarding process, check out my latest book, Your Happy First Draft. It's not available in bookstores or on Amazon. The only place you can get it is my website, link below and in the show notes. 